नमस्ते माय डियर फ्रेंड्स देर आर पॉलिटिशियंस इन इंडिया टू विन इलेक्शंस दे क्रिएट फॉल्स नैरेटिव्स एंड एज ए रिजल्ट दे क्रिएट ए वेरी वेरी डेंजरस सिचुएशन फॉर द कंट्री Especially, Congress Party and Gandhi family, particularly Rahul Gandhi. He is given false narratives and all types of falsehood to spread. even in foreign lands he is insulting the indian constitution and trying to create a situation that no foreign business personality come to india and invest money this is really a very very dangerous situation so rahul gandhi's falsehood has become a real danger to democracy as well as for the country the makers of our indian constitution they have given clearly each and every statement with elaborate understanding the drafting committee wanted to make it clear that though india was to be a federation the federation was not the result of an agreement by the states to join in a federation and that the federation not being the result of an agreement no state has the right to secede from the secede or separate from it the federation is a union because it is indestructible though the country and the people may be divided into different states for convenience of administration the country is one integral whole its people a single people living under a single imperium derived from a single source dr baba saheb b r ambedkar in the speech introducing the draft constitution in the constituent assembly on november 4 nineteen forty eight. Rahul Gandhi is not a puppet. That is how his guru, Sam Pitroda, the comeback man and reappointed chairman of the Indian Overseas Congress, gave a certificate to his leader. He added adjective to the. dynastic master by calling him a highly educated strategist with deep thinking on any subject satnarayan pitroda known as sham is in famous for his racist comments about people from the southern and north eastern parts of bharat and casually discarding the horrific genocide of six after shri mati indira gandhi indira gandhi's assassination in 1984 by saying hua to hua what happened in 1984 1984 has happened so what what a carefree statement after facing brief suspension for the election time 
he is not just back in his earlier position but continuing his tutelage to rahul gandhi he has mastered the art of misrepresenting the situation in india by spreading blatant lies and training the son of his old time friend about the new left strategies to weaken democracy this journey of rahul gandhi from pappu who would make blunders with his mind to puppet speaking somebody else's language is nothing but playing with the fire of divisive politics this pattern poses danger to our democracy in multiple ways and finally danger to india till now rahul has played this tutored game of talking against the north while contesting from the southern states spreading misinformation on various legislations targeting the constitutional bodies from the election commission to judiciary and blabbering baseless allegations against rashtriya swayam sevak sang rss within bharatiya territory after abusing and attacking prime minister modi he has got the habit of crying that there is no free speech in his earlier visits also rahul gandhi chose foreign visits to lobby to and spread negativity about india what he has done in his recent us visit is the most dangerous game showing the signs that he has graduated in the lessons of demeaning and denigrating bharatiya democracy taught by his gurus rahul chose to bet for china on the employment and opportunity fronts claiming no unemployment there from galwan skirmishes to date he has not missed a single opportunity to speak for china when all international agencies are showing india in a positive light as a bright spot in global economy when the chinese reports themselves accept the crisis in construction and employment scenario in recent times what is so special about the relationship of rahul and congress with the chinese communist party if he is so concerned about democracy why doesn't he come clean on the bipartisan agreement between the congress and communist party of china surprisingly no media person in india or on the foreign soil ever asked him about this when china is trying to best strategically encircle bharat what is the reason that our leader of the opposition has special love for the adversary world over the left islamist conglomerate has taken over the liberal space and creating doubts about the democratic institutions and processes suddenly elections have become unfair everywhere foreign agencies and think tanks are looking for opportunities to target bharat what is the logic of questioning the credibility of the election commission of india on a foreign soil who is he helping by doing so his remarks at the diaspora community event in herndon virginia were the most atrocious and shameless he said the fight in india is about whether a sikh is going to be allowed to wear a turban whether a sikh will be allowed to wear a kada or go to the gurudwara can there be a bigger lie than this if at all sikhs were targeted in this country after partition it was during the congress rule when shrimati gandhi was assassinated 
मोर देन थ्री थाउजेंड सिक्स वर ब्रूटली मेकर्ड विच राजीव गांधी राहुल फादर जस्टिफाइड बाय सेइंग वेन एवर ए बिग ट्री फॉल्स द अर्थ सेक्स ए लिटल कांग्रेस गवर्नमेंट डिड नॉट लीव एनी स्टोन अनटर्न टू सेव द की एक्यूज इन द केसिज हुर कांग्रेस लीडर्स ऑन द कंट्रेरी प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी हिमसेल्फ wearing a turban has tried his best to restore the sikh pilgrimage sites creating access to kartarpur sahib gurudwara and celebrating all prakash pauj national festivals rss also celebrated 550th prakash parv of shri guru nanak dev ji and appealed to all swam sevaks and society to celebrate this occasion with cooperation and coordination as a mark of respect towards the path of social upliftment and self emancipation shown by the great guru even after knowing these facts rahul endorsed the position propagated by khalistani extremist like pannu is it a quid pro quo deal with the extremist groups working from abroad to redeem congress and the gandhi family from the sin of 1984 the hatred of the gandhi family towards rss is understandable from nehru's time entire government might have been used to crush the national organization dedicated to the inculcating civilizational values the hindutva school which essentially believes in celebrating diversity while realizing inherent unity of bharat has single handedly challenged and debunked the colonial constructs and dynastic efforts to continue the british policies without nurturing enmity towards anybody it has cultivated a critical mass of committed volunteers for india that believe in our ancient nationhood and universal brotherhood rahul gandhi's utterances about rss are another set of unashamed falsehood at the time of independence the the then sar sang chalak shri guru ji proudly announced that all bharatiya languages are national languages in 1965 when congress government due to its ambiguous policies was facing the challenge of linguistic separatism rss passed a resolution on the language policy which stated all languages of india are national and they should be accorded equal status hindi should be used as the official language at the center and other regional languages in their respective states abps 1965 language policy in 2015 akhil bharatiya pratinidhi sabha the highest decision making body of the organization passed a resolution or on promoting education in the mother tongue to enrich cultural moorings the education particularly elementary education should be in mother language or in state languages recognized in our constitution in 2018 abps underscored the need to protect and promote all bharatiya languages again the national education policy 2020 is the first attempt to introduce all education branches in bharatiya languages which congress and its regional allies chose to oppose kannada tamil and bengali were the first languages in which the engineering curriculum was introduced where is the question of imposing one language here no single speech or discourse by any of the sung office bearers take place 
without mentioning that diversity is the biggest strength of our culture which should be celebrated when rss talks of unity it is in the sense that dr ambedkar had mentioned in the constituent assembly no identity brother caste linguistic sectarian etc should be above our national identity and at the cost of unity and integrity of the nation is the simple mantra rss propagates and practices this fictional misrepresentation of rss may get false satisfaction and few votes to rahul gandhi but the nation will have to pay the price does rahul gandhi think that he or his party will be able to govern a country that is torn into multiple identities with animosity rahul gandhi has lost his grandfather and father to this dangerous divisive politics of pitting one caste region or religion against each other still he does not have remorse for following the same path the worst part is that he now follows the language scripted outside bharat from bangladesh to brazil all elections are under scanner anti bharat forces are looking to take over the system again to serve their interest in the volatile global situation when we need responsible opposition and national consensus on our consensus on our nationhood the blatant lies tutored by somebody else make rahul gandhi a significant threat to democracy even more than this mr rahul gandhi is spreading another very dangerous propaganda of caste census in india he wants to divide hindus into different caste groups and thereby disintegration of the country is being started this is really a very very dangerous situation the electoral the electorate of india must be very cautious not to vote for parties like congress dmk tmc samajwadi and like other such parties because they are playing very very dangerous game to split india into different parts thank you for watching this video namaskar my dear friends thank you Hello